Happy New Year! Welcome along, everybody! We're back! We're chilling! We're building. Welcome back to Imperial Galactic Survival. Lie. Hope you're doing well, and thank you very much for joining me today. Hope you're having a fantastic New Year's Day. Uh, yeah, yeah, chilling the world away. Hey, hey, hey. What the devil are we doing? Let me do some hellos real quick. First of all, I just need to line the Imperion soundtrack up. There we go. Okay. How are you guys doing? Hey, Patrick, Doc, Stormcrow, Ivan, Paul, D Dude. What up, dude? Patrick, Jeremy. Uh, Thomas, BLHC Group, Happy Corporate New Year. <laughs> he sounded like a pharmaceuticals. Uh, 2E, Happy New Year. Gabarro, Happy New Year. Dark Lion as well, Happy New Year to you, sir. Um, person with Russian italics in the name that I can't pronounce or read. Hello. <laughs> I spent a new player, found your channel before one week, and he became my teacher. Okay. Welcome to the game, dude. Hopefully I can continue to show you the ways of Imperion. Uh, Mickey, how you doing? Uh, Joshua Herrick, happy new year. Zoom Zoom, Master Spike. Hedgeguard. <laughs> Borlito. Hey, kid Tyke. I uh, just want to be the first to wish you all a happy Easter. <laughs> I think you nailed it. I think you absolutely nailed it. Hmm. And welcome back to another chilling building, ladies and gentlemen. In front of you, right here, as the name suggests, this is Blighted's Carrier. We're going to be, hopefully, finishing this damn thing today. Because this is what is holding me up in my Let's Play series of Imperion uh, Reforged Eden. I need a freaking fleet carrier. Because I need to be able to carry around with me my combat ship, my mining ship. I'm going to need a high G ship. I'm going to need multiple SVs, multiple HVs. Um, as we progress through the galaxy heading back to my outpost every single time is uh a getting through some serious amounts of mental accident and b is is taking me too long uh <laughs> off camera to get anything uh real exploration and stuff done so this is going to be my chariot essentially my mobile base i've gone nomad a few times before uh in these reforged and let's plays and stuff like that but this will be the biggest, biggest nomading I've ever done. Let's we'll see how it goes. Hey, Ghost Dragon. Mark. How long has Blighted been waiting on this now? Months. <laughs> Months. Definitely over six. Uh, hey, Patrick, you love the big builds. Yeah, this is definitely a big build. This is one of the largest ships I've ever worked on. Um, I, I think I've worked on larger... I think the Gladiator comes in a little bit longer than this, but the Gladiator's not especially a uh, uh, complicated build. It's mostly just combat steel. <laughs> Interior is very limited. Hey, Trent Dane. He had a name, the Chariot. Well, the name is already... The Blighted's chosen the name. It's Blighted's ship. He uh, he got dibs on that one. So it's actually called the Onager, um, which I believe is like Latin for something or other. It, I remember Onagers from like Rome Total War. They were catapults. I like big boats and I cannot lie. <laughs> um, some immediate thank yous to do as well. Just quickly before we get started. Uh, before the stream even started. Ivan, thank you for being a member for 16 months. Happy New Year. Spanish and viewers. Happy New Year to you too, Ivan. And got California Reaper in my eye. Uh, thank you for becoming a hero level member over on YouTube as well. Dude, awesome. Much appreciated. Thank you very much. Um... Over in the world of Patreon, actually ignore that because that's Patreon bot going absolutely berserk. That's probably happened over the last couple of weeks. So ignore that one. Um, in in, thank you for the follow. Welcome along, Zoom Zoom. Thank you for being a godlike member for eighteen months, dude. That is awesome. Thank you so much. That's amazing. One point five years already. Flies by. It absolutely flies by. You look back and go, wow, did that happen? Hmm. Um, happy New Year, Volk. Kevin, happy festivus, Spanish. Hey, Kevin, thank you very much. 
Right, so let me give you guys a quick tour here of the carrier. Some of you may have seen this before, so I apologize if this is all old news to you, but I have done some bits off camera um, to try and get this thing done, ready, fitted, finished, and stuff like that. So this uh, this is very much an aux core off the factory floor kind of build. Uh, it's got huge thrusters. Uh, the, yeah, I, I suppose in some weird way I could probably downgrade it so it doesn't need an aux core, but it would barely move. It would barely move. It is a um, a prefit carrier. It's not something like the Helios where you got modules that you add in and stuff like that. I don't want to really dick dick around with modules and docking and setting up things. I just couldn't be bothered with it. Um, that would mean that would basically mean surgically mutilating Blade's carrier here, which I've already done some of as well. Uh, so <clears throat> I suppose the challenge for you guys is to tell which bits lighted built and which bits I've modified. <laughs> is uh it's merging of two styles blighted's uh built the whole frame the whole shape of it and everything like that and then i've kind of injected bits and bobs here and there to liven it up a little bit uh break up the kind of flat surfaces all the texturing is mine because <laughs> he did none of it <laughs> he had no bloody texturing I redid the entirety of the front section here. Um, he had some weird nipple things going on on the front there. I just, I just like, I need to deal with that. <laughs> so yeah, um, the entire bottom here was completely flat and a single texture. So everything you see on the bottom there, have I got my torch on? There we go. Uh, it's been redone. The engine mounts around the back here are entirely blade its work though, so credit where credit is due. Quite a cool little engine mounts he's done. The top was completely flat as well and textureless and featureless. So the comms array and con tower over there are my additions. Again, the texturing is all mine as well. So lots of top deck space or things to land on. Hopefully there's enough space up here to, to land all the ships that I need to land on there. Then we've got a forward flight bridge. And that is yet to be done. And anyway, texture not done. Seating not done. There's some lights here, but I don't like them. You know, loads of stuff to do still there. You go into the hangar bay. The hangar bay is largely done, to be fair. You've got ample parking. This is basically a flying multi-story car park. What we got here. But yeah, again, most of the texturing and lighting and stuff like that. And in fairness, Blade had done some texturing. You could see the kind of sloped roof areas here. This is Blighted's work. Uh, the block work is all Blighted in here. I've embedded some um, devices in the ceiling there to help break it up. This whole front section here is my work, but you've got gardens on the left, medical and stuff on the right. And the bridge, flight deck, control room, overlooking everything. So what's left to do? Um, well, you got these, these, I mean, there's, there's spots like this. That, spots of texturing that just don't really make sense so things like correcting that and making sure it's consistent throughout because where I've ripped things out or switched them around the texturing is inconsistent and, and wrong and, and uh, you know stuff like that so it's going to be a lot of little fiddly correcty bits of work but then we've got like Hangar bay is again inconsistent texturing and there needs to be some block work in here and lighting needs to be fixed and what's going on up there. So these are kind of like little isolated hangar bays for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so silly things like that. And then back here we've got all the sort of engineering sections up on this elevated section here. And we've got main engineering through here. And this is largely done. Textured, lighting, lock work. 
I've even got crew in here, but then we've got like, again, fiddly little silly bits like this. Where... we got some wood, wood panel flooring for some reason. You know? Yeah, if we look on the other side... Not the case. So, there will be a lot of texturing today. So, I will, I will immediately apologise for that. Texturing... This texturing is not particularly interesting. Um, I'll do my best, obviously, to keep things a little lively. Uh, <laughs> or, or somewhat tutorial-esque, you know? Uh, so that we're not all just sat here going... Blah, 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 with you. What is going on, Span? This is boring as hell, but... Well, I'll do my best. So there, there's elements here that, that we can turn uh, symmetry mode on, and we couldn't turn symmetry mode on. But yeah, so you'll see like the inconsistencies like that. We'll try and fix those. We'll try and make sure it's all consistent throughout. There's the shield uh, array here. This all needs texturing and lighting. So you've got like the spinny bits and stuff like that built around some blocks. So it all kind of looks good. Attempts attempted to look good. Rather than just the devices just sat there in the room, you know, like that. So <clears throat> we got a texture, all of that. Now this comes out, and this this is the same on the other side as well. Completely empty deck here, and one below as well. Now all the way down this corridor, and this corridor goes the full length of the ship. There's the drive thruster. Um, this is where I was thinking of placing crew quarters, guest quarters, things like that. As you can see, I started, didn't get very far. Uh, now I'll do that with symmetry mode on because like I say it's the same on the other side here We've got some of them are done. There's a limited amount of copy and paste you can do with this To be honest the, the best and quickest way is going to be symmetry mode But you've got a nice narrow corridor here Where you can fit down And maybe we can put like we can't put anything on the walls here But these spaces are just about big enough for a bed and a bathroom so we could actually have some nice RP features in this ship and have actually a full complement of crew quarters, which I think would be quite fun. It also gives us an opportunity to fill this thing to the brim with crew, which is going to help its CPU. And at the moment, and it's incomplete, bear in mind, this thing sits at 3.8 million CPU. And that alone is just the amount of drive thrusters it's got in order to move its enormous backside forwards and backwards. Obviously you saw the six main primary thrusters there. It's got four in reverse. It's got four lift and I believe it's got two down? No, you know, it's got four down. Yeah, four down as well. Um, and two left and right. So it's strafe is terrible, but it's a carrier, right? Not a fighter. So yeah, whatever. Anyway, um, so yeah, that was engineering. Now there are, you might have noticed stairs up here as well. I just got to check this a second. Yeah, that does work. Okay, I was worried you might hit your head on that. I suppose if you go down the, this side, you will. <laughs> mm, yeah, I might need to adjust that. Um, so again, texturing is incomplete here. And then we start getting into this is a brand new area that the con tower completely empty, random ass orange glowy textures. Uh, so this is a completely empty room, completely empty, untextured, lit another another floor again untextured, unlit, and then you're at the top of the con tower here. So we've got some nice views out on the side of this tower. It looks great from inside. You know? Um, but yeah, completely incomplete. Completely incomplete? Completely incomplete. Completely incomplete. So, we need to finish this off as well. Uh, and this gets got some awkward bits about it. You've got this downward thing here. I'm not even sure what to do with this. Maybe like a little bar lobby area. <clears throat> but there's so much space in this thing to to fill and complete. It's crazy. Oh, and yeah, of course, the actual main entrance. I think it's a bit really easy. You know, armor lockers and, and O2 stations should fill that up nicely. I want to try and make every room somewhat practical, but inevitably there are some that are going to be completely impractical, like this where I've got a Wi-Fi just jammed in the corner there. I don't really know what to do with that, but uh, we'll think of something. 
We'll put some potted plants in, guys. It'll be fine, right? So yeah, lots of uh, asymmetry with these two particular elements as well, because if we go up the other side, the equivalent is a some sort of communication maintenance room, because right behind there is a thruster. Um, but this is the last bit I did um, off camera. This is the latest room I've added. So it's a grayscale kind of uh, texture setup. But I've got some highlight colors in there, like the orange, um, the light blues, stuff like that. So it has a, a somewhat military feel, uh, just to give you an idea of things that are kind of finished, basically. Um, computer core. Again, lots of opportunity for crew to help improve that CPU. Their primary CPU controllers are in here and the core. And then there's another room over here for auxiliaries and quantums. Take a block out and slap a core in. So lots of room for extra cores and stuff. Now, it's starting to get to the point with this thing now where it's like, okay, I've got too many rooms to fill. So this one here, completely empty. I just put it as a generic storage locker, you know? What do you do? Yeah, you do what you want. Put some lockers in there, put some boxes. I don't really care. It's empty. It's empty on purpose. So yeah, a bit of a maze to get around, but um, generally, remember, up is up, down is down, and you'll be fine. There we go. I think that's pretty much everything, guys. So that's, that's our to-do list. <laughs> Where do we start? Where do we start? I don't even know. There's so much to do. So one of the things I was thinking is that this this whole thing here is completely empty at the moment. This would be a brilliant place to set up essentially your existence on this ship. Because one thing that I find kind of impractical with ships this size is how much time you spend moving around inside the ship. So at the moment, I've set this front section up here. because This was originally the bridge. So I was like, OK, we'll work from here. We're going to be able to exist here. So I've got all my gardens here. I've got medical and armor lockers here. My constructors are just down here um, and things like that. But I wonder now if actually we, we don't necessarily get rid of this stuff, but we put another set of it up here and we live in this con tower. So we have constructors here, we have uh, medical here, we have maybe even gardens and stuff here. I mean, we can definitely get away with some grow plots down on this level. And uh, we do everything out of this con tower. Practically, you'll land on the deck, you'll go in here, you'll fly the, the carrier. And now, if we go with this bridge, we'll land on the deck, we'll have to jet back round or go through the con tower or something awkward and then go through the main hangar door and then go up an elevator and then into the bridge. Or we, we create um, some kind of side exit to the bridge here to make, to make that more practical. But in my brain, that's already set up for that. There's already a, a bridge level, um, pretty much a bridge level entrance exit here. So it's a lot easier to get into the driving seat straight away. I could even make that just an observation deck and put the bridge down there in that sloped uh, glass. The driving seat, I suppose. So yeah, we've got options, we've got options. I think that, from a practical gameplay point of view, would be better than trying to operate out of the front of the ship. But, you know, what do you guys think? Anyway, I've been yammering on for ages, taking you through this thing, I've missed so much chat. So welcome along everybody who's joined, who I've not said hello to yet. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, Spanish do dock ships add to ships mass in Imperium? Yes, Mickey, they do. Bet it move like crap off a shovel going for a landing in high <laughs> Yes, it, it lands like a meteor. <laughs> it's such a shame the game doesn't really allow players as crew be awesome to roll out a fleet of attack fighters from a single ship to totally ravage your target. I mean, there's nothing stopping players from doing that. You can have a crew of like 10, 20 people, organize them all onto one ship, give them all a fighter and then deploy them. You know, there's nothing to stop you from doing that. It's just a case of actually organizing that many people. Because most people want to fly and build and do their own thing and stuff. So actually organizing that people and, and then um, having a coherent kind of hierarchy of command that actually makes it any effective in any way whatsoever. There's no incentive in this game for you to all 
exist and live on one ship. So it doesn't really it doesn't really happen, but there's nothing stopping it from happening. Um, hey Brian, Chucky. It's that big. It will fly on a four G uh, on a planet with four G. <laughs> yeah. Hey Trouble. Uh, happy New Year, Death. Death. Ooh, the giant hangar. Yep. Left is left. Right is also left. <laughs> at the end maybe take it easy trouble how was Christmas to Little Spanjat just another day for Little Spanjat to be honest I think bridge and living area should be separate fair enough uh, well it will be it will be essentially but yeah a battle bridge and travel bridge that looks good dude thank you Chucky hey Yoshi make the front of the ship a luxury area for guests see this is the other thing as well is make that forward bit a kind of a bar and forward, right? You can't move around on the ship. No, quite right. So that, that you'd have to have all 20 people just sat in a chair while you've, one person flies around. And it's like very boring for everybody else, isn't it? Yeah. Um, first, you need to split down the middle and add a block so you can put the captain's chair in the center. <laughs> yeah, that would be fine if there was a hangar bay that could actually deal with that, but uh, a hangar door that could actually deal with that, but there isn't, is there? We'd have to replace them all with blast doors and signal logic. Make it a mobile hotel for online, yeah. Hierarchy of command, lol. <laughs> can you imagine, right? Uh, can you use short-range teleporters where people land and check in at the tower and then teleport to the bridge? Unfortunately not. Uh, uh, chilling your building finally. Hey, Project Striker. With a jacuzzi. Yeah, bar with a jacuzzi. All right. Okay. So I think what we should do is start with the con tower, sort that out and make that as practical as possible. Because that is big enough to basically have everything you need to have in it. Constructors, medical, row plots, stuff like that. And then we could probably squeeze in some RP stuff as well. And then we could make this bridge area, like you say, a, a sort of luxury um, observation deck slash bar, something or other. VIP lounge. The thing is, is like I quite like the idea of having a forward bridge and a top bridge, but um, I think I think we'll live with it. The question then is to do with what do we do with? I mean, that stuff we can leave, and then this could become a cafeteria, which it already kind of is anyway. When you know, actually, practically, you'd probably end up growing pentaxid in most of these plots. But yeah. Um, con tower then let's have a go at this alright so it's quite a big structure as you can see just on its own you know there's definitely stuff we could do to liven it up as well you've got a lot of flat surface here and that's not necessarily the enemy of course but um, you know, it can always benefit from uh, from a bit of a bit of block texturing a bit of a bit of stiff a bit of stuff and things you know <clears throat> bit of stuff and things. Pretty simple additions, really. It's, I mean, it's not. Not groundbreaking stuff, is it? But it does break that up a little bit. It gives it a little something else to look at, you know? I got this quite curious looking overhang kind of glass section here, which I quite like. And it's fairly unique. I don't really see that much. Um, but I'm not sure about this corner. It's very sharp. It's obviously just, just a square block there. Uh, but we could maybe swap that out for a traditional corner piece. I don't know if that would, um, or even maybe even, maybe, maybe even, something like that.
Ah, problem. Yeah. <laughs> Breach! Hey, I'll do me. I'll do. Keep forgetting that there's a there's a copy. They've tried to break up the texture a little bit. So it's kind of dark paint makes it difficult. But uh, yeah, we've got, um, got a random white corner there. I don't mind the uh, the texture so much on that one, but it kind of just stands out and goes, ah! I was like, why? Why are you so loud? of like just just flat texture areas it's difficult to the in a build like this to not just get carried away and just be like i must texture everything um because i'd just be here forever so a lot of what i'm doing is using this one here we'll just like take that color and just apply this texture to it and you apply it in sort of small bits and it's a technique that, that Jay Randall uses quite often as well. A lot of his builds you'll see large sort of flat areas that just have this this standard sort of steel texture on it. And then anytime you see one of these diagonal lines, you fill it with a with a you blank it out, right? So you only get the right angles. And for some reason, <laughs> and I can't explain it, for some reason, it it works. And what is going on here, right? Look at that. All the way along, no problem. And then on this side, broken and rotated. <laughs> You're going kidding me. <laughs> what? That's why it's broken. Half of these blocks are facing the wrong way. How did this happen? Also, how? What? How, what? How does that even work? Look at this. Look at this. This is ridiculous. Right, so all of these mother duckers I gotta flip around the other way. There we go. Rotate, rotate, flip, flip, flip. Oops. Silly things like that, you know? They're just consume so much time should otherwise be used for building I'm doing the wrong bit here uh, hang on Is that the right one I've gone off that's right that's wrong <laughs> flip them around the wrong way Yeah, the, 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 okay. That doesn't even have a texture on it. So confused. The double lines on the top is correct. Double lines on the bottom, incorrect. No, wait. And now it's flipped. Bottom correct, top incorrect. My gosh. You see what I mean? Oh, you bugger. Here 
irritating. Yeah, of course. Ugh. Stupid little things like that. Just don't text you. You're good. <laughs> and that's me well building a ship. Um, yeah. Hey, Dameron. Thank you very much. Band, you need to build a fighter for the docking bays and just do some cinematic shots of attacking some Xerax would be awesome to watch hell. I'd join you to fly a fighter. Uh, I did something similar a long time ago when I'm promoting Shattered Realm. Did it with um, Static Hair and Lucy. We basically shot, had to do this shot, and we, it took us 10 or 12 takes. It took ages to get it right because you had to... We had to line up three flighters, flighters, fighters, fly, flying at full speed with one coming out the hangar and joining the formation seamlessly. And it was literally a 30 second promo for one of the factions for Shattered Realm server. It, like, it took us ages, it took us hours. <laughs> it took us hours to get it right. You had to get the timing just right. It was crazy, but it, I mean, it was awesome at the same time, so. Worth it. Don't you dare bleed over. Thank you. Oh, no diagonals. Rare. Bet they'll have some here. Yep. There we go. How about making tower stand out by blinking lights? Yeah, I mean, the blinking lights and things like that, we could definitely do. Uh, I mean, little flashies on the top, like a red one, height, a height light and stuff like that. Definitely need to do that sort of stuff for sure. Uh, I mean, having a sort of a landing strip style lighting system down the middle here would be kind of cool as well. I've done that before and that's that's reasonably easy to do. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, there's lots of texturing we can do, basically. Lots of flat areas on the back here that just don't... They're nothing. You can get carried away for hours trying to texture every single bit and just being like, oh, that bit's flat and boring, let's do something with that. Or you can just go, fuck it, that'll do. Yeah, inside we go. All right, so we've got... Um... Where am I? Here we go. We've got a stairwell. Eh. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, maybe. I'll, I'll think about it, but yeah, probably not. But we just use that one for this one. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Got an opportunity here anyway to do something with this corner. I mean, this is just like a... Um, this is a random corner, right? It doesn't really contribute anything significant. So we could just, we could just block it off. It might be a good place to put something like um get rid of all this actually. An air vent. Uh oh my god. Vent. There we go. Put oh uh, put a corner piece of vent there.
I like that, that fact there's a glowy behind it as well. A bit. Sparrow 2 station, yeah. Well, this this uh, Wi-Fi, I need to kind of bury this or something, ideally. I think it's there as kind of like a reminder to me. It's like I needed a Wi-Fi there. I didn't put it there as a permanent thing. Uh, witty. Witty! there and we can put something like furnishings and potted plants and actually decorations and stuff in here Christmas tree maybe you know maybe consoles nice deck here can't put a plotted, plotted, plotted. can't put a plotted plant yeah, I am really struggling to talk today. I tell you, I don't know what it is, but this morning I was talking to the wifey and every other word that I was saying was the wrong word. It was just, I don't know what is going on. <laughs> it was just broken. <laughs> uh, absolutely, utterly broken. No idea what's going on. Words can't brain proper. Beak broke. Meh. Ah, get rid of those. Meh. So again, this is an opportunity to put some crew in here as well. Oh, well, I think we'll come to crew later. Um, let's chuck some light on the ceiling here. Intensity 2, range 20. Turn the flashlight off. Make sure that looks good. Yeah, that's reasonably well lit up. Nice. Uh, give rooms a number or colour designation. Yeah, I don't really do that. Take forever. Uh, Spanjo, I'm assuming you stayed up until midnight. God, no. <laughs> Absolutely not. OTT, thank you very much for the five euros. Happy New Year, Spanj. Woo, chill in the building is back. This looks like it's going to be a fine carry you are building while chilling. Thank you, dude. I appreciate you. Thank you very much. Um, there's a few more thank yous you've got to go through here. Hang on. Um, Optic, thank you for the follow as well. Nothing, thank you for the follow. Head, Edgar, thank you for the 1,000 bits. That was like half an hour ago. I'm sorry, dude. Um, 1,000 bits is not insignificant. Thank you so much. That's really, really nice of you. Scarly, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome along, guys. How you doing? I uh, hope you had a good stream there, Scarly. And uh, Siva Damaros, thank you for the 24 months resub. I can't remember when I pressed this last. <laughs> a while ago. It doesn't matter. Thank you very much for being here. I appreciate you. Mad Cats as well. Thank you for the 27 months resub over on Twitch. Happy New Year to you, too. Thank you, guys. Sorry if I'm late shouting you out and saying thank you. It, you know, I'm, yeah, it happens. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> this, 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 this whole kind of area being uh, not light, lit up is kind of irritating. Also, I was going to fix this, but um, I got the same on the other side as well. Can I just take that out? Yeah. Yeah. Let's um see if oh hello cheeky. Cheeky 
Ichi Ichi Gate. Um, let's fix that in a little bit. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe that we need to lighten that there well up a little bit. Um, there's a good texture I like for this sort of thing, and that's that's that. It works quite well. Right. Got. Oh. Yeah, so we've got some light texture running down the side of these stairs here. I don't want anything too wild, but I feel like having some kind of like lighting here as you come up. You're not just ascending into darkness, you know? Not just ascending into darkness. Bust. That's a bit better. Less foreboding. Although this texture doesn't belong on a ceiling, in my opinion. Has it got ammo crates? <laughs> Do you know I don't actually know. <laughs> I think it does. Yeah, yeah, two of them. Two ammo controllers. Not that it's like particularly well armed. It's got like six gats on it and that's it. Uh, but yeah, it's got ammo crates. It's got Wi-Fi as well. That's that's the main miracle here. It's got Wi-Fi. Up bloody presses. Right, so this room is going to be... We're gonna have some constructors in here, deal, because uh, it looks like it's you got three accesses into this room. Um, so we have this as like a production area. This would, I think it would work really nicely. And then you got a floor up where we can have things like medical. Um, I wouldn't necessarily put beds and stuff here because that doesn't really work with this living quarters and stuff are downstairs. So we can have medical here. Things like armor lockers, uh, O2 stations. Maybe we've got the fridge and stuff up here as well. Food. Uh, and then the top will have fridge stuff. Uh, and that's it. You'll go from production to survival to control, I guess. Uh, question about the Corvus build. With four orcs cores, what would be your loadout? Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't have a the problem with the um the Corvus doesn't have a huge amount of room, but it would be I, I'd swap everything out for he heavy heavy turrets. You use up uh, what CPU can with heavy turrets, heavy positrons, heavy lasers, um heavy missiles. The problem is you can't have manual fire heavies. I'd love to have he man heavy artillery cannons, heavy laser cannons. Um but I suppose you could take the laser cannons out completely because at a certain point they're kind of they they're less effective than laser turrets configured correctly so you can bring some cpu back in by taking them out and the laser cannon is quite good for sniping drones to be honest anyway i don't honestly i don't know it's just um yes to the firepower rail guns are very useful taking out blocks but when you're moving so fast on a multiplayer server they're kind of useless so it's like that, but you, you, cruise missile launchers are very useful. Um, yeah, it'd just be these guys, basically. As many of those as you can, and as many uh, Imperial plasmas and, and lasers as you can as well, because they work in atmosphere, which is amazing. So you can, you can get your Imperial particle beams and Imperial lasers, Imperial plasma cannons, and you could equip them all to your ship become basically a ground pounder it's fantastic all right uh we're gonna need that hello we're gonna need that stick to the bar this time please thank you hey curious mind thank you very much for ten dollars don't forget the lcd sorry you know i had to heckle you about that <laughs> why <clears throat> so much like to do in builds now <laughs> it's not just like that. 
and then like Salud score will do a build or, or uh, J Rand will do a build and then that's that glass there will just be filled with LCDs or something and it's just like okay cool thanks I don't want to but thanks <laughs> now mine looks like crap oh yeah we could do a repair bay up here actually that's a good idea put that in the corner over there so advanced instructors uh, I think two is more than enough for a single person to deal with plus there's more downstairs anyway uh, I might I might skim why well, have I got two lots I might skim the uh, advanced constructors off the um, downstairs section actually when well, we got three here take that one out two will be fine Smalls back here as well. A bit unnecessary. Right. Down a level. Yeah. So let's put the, the grow plots over here. We'll put the constructors over here. We'll put them. We'll nestle them in like that, basically. So they are nestled. Nestled. All right. A little dividing wall up. Slightly awkward grow area. Can these come out? Nope. Well, the top one can. Um, that can come out, but that is right into a thruster, so we can't actually use this space at all. We stand here. Yeah, uh, that's a hot spot. All right. How, how far out does that go? All right, so that's that needs to be blocked off. And this needs to be blocked off. Hey, where the hell am I? There we go. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. We're safe there. Safe here. Safe here. Oh wait. Oh no, I'm in. I'm in that block. Hang on. We're safe here. Okay, good. Right. Slightly awkward grow area, but uh, it, it will be fine. That stairs, no, it's not. Okay, good. Um, I'm like, can we do something clever with glass here? But I'm, I'm thinking maybe actually we just leave it open. Leave it open. Otherwise, it's a pain in the bum.
Let's go rid of them. Uh, let's get some deco blocks in here as well. Liven this up a bit. Opportunity for some roof texturing. Um, did you remember the wave I hate done? Yes, I got wave. I got ammo boxes. Okay. Blighted built this, okay? It's fine. It works. <laughs> Any of your questions like that? Don't worry. Blighted built it. So it's fine. Right? <laughs> Hey Rick, how you doing buddy? Think they need to add more deco blocks to the game. Oh yeah, just a few. Move constructors on block right. Eh? I don't know what you mean, Prime. Um, should have built a competition where everyone is given the same roughed out hull shape and then told, have at it. Not bad idea, Stormcrow, I like it. You guys pimp my ride. <laughs> I've been toying around with the idea of um, basically people uh, submitting builds to me to, to uplift. I've been putting it off for obvious reasons. <laughs> but the other idea is nice, because I don't have to do any work apart from just look at your stuff. That works for me. It's a bit of colour in here, don't worry, this back wall's going. I was hoping to just get one of those aspects, not both. Hell yeah! <laughs> Texas! Make them work properly, please. The gear. Okay. You may remove small constructor that is located between advanced constructors and put it on top of the second one. Oh, right, okay. Yes, it could do that. But then how are you going to access the keyboard on the small constructor if it's on the ceiling? You got to think about these things. Eh? <laughs> Sorry, that would upset my OCD. It's the same reason I don't put like medical equipment on the ceilings as well. <laughs> the same reason. Yeah, I see so many builds though. Like, you've got medical beds like hanging off the ceiling or whatever. And I'm just like, no! This is this is not right. How are you supposed to lie on something like that? I don't do it. It should be illegal, frankly. Looking a bit industrial in here, isn't it? What are we 
do need a light in here as well. Got the grow light, sure, but um, turn our flashlight off. There we go. Bit of an impression. Save on um, lag as well by using just one light rather than like filling a room up with lots of lights. Just one and extend the area. It does the job. Then you can use glowy textures to give any like lighting effects that you want to. No such thing as a z stealing in zero G. What's zero G? Got gravity. What, 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 what? You guys are still operating in zero G on your ships, then you're doing it wrong. Why won't this texture? There'll be way. For some reason, it was still on that one. Right, and. Let's do so. This is a space that can be used. Currently, using it somewhat inefficiently. Now, now, in fairness, yeah, I want something here because having that um, mm, that works. Just about. If only I could have a line like that that follows that down. That'd be beautiful. But yeah. Hey, Sarge. Fridge by Grow Plots, yeah. I mean, a fridge it doesn't matter where the fridge is with um, Wi-Fi and logistics, but that'll be up here. It'll be upstairs, the next next floor up. Uh, down here is going to be Deco now, I think, and then I'll put a repair pad here as well. No, so. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, definitely, definitely a fridge. I put two upstairs. I need to I need to na name them as well because we've got fridges downstairs so as well. So it'd be like um. Fridge in con, fridge out con, and then fridge in four, fridge out four maybe. On tower and, and stuff. Uh, wait. This is a tricky one as well, because what do we put in here? They put plotted plant. Plotted plant. Again, I can't. Why, why do I keep saying plotted plant? Plotted plant? <laughs> What's wrong with me? Potted plant! That's some excellent clipping. Mushrooms in the ceiling. Artificial tree. These don't work in a one by one area, do they? <laughs> there we go. They're only a one by. Oh, they are. They they do clip though. What is this two by one? Are they all two by one? One two 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 one two. It's amazing that I can place them when they are one by two blocks. I didn't think that they allowed um, clipping like that. Intriguing. Plotted plants. <laughs> what is a plotted plant? <laughs> Block <and blood. laughs> it's just it's just my mouth failing to work correctly. I don't know what's going on with me. Blood and blood. Hmm. You can have a nice little bench next to a tree and sit in the corner like a naughty boy. Like a naughty child. <laughs> in the corner. Pink. Can't put custom colours on these constructors and stuff like that because they 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 rebel. They go pink. You have to like exist in the floor here. Like a little rodent. <laughs> Armor lockers near the doors, maybe, yep. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they'll be put an O2 station somewhere in here. Yeah, O2 station I'm happy to put on the ceiling. That makes sense. Don't forget as well that there's this forward section here. Um, and I'll be filling this up with armor lockers and O2 stations and whatnot. We don't want to go like overboard with it.
It's spacious. There's not a bad space. Right. We need a repair console here. I mean, either way, it's central, stylish. I like it. Terrible use of space, but um, it looks good. So I'm into it. Temptation would be to put an L-shaped one, but that actually uses the inner block, and then that would prevent you from doing this. Yes. Another potted plant for the registry. Um, what do we want? What do we want? A potted lily. How is that a lily? A juniper bush. How is that a juniper? It's clearly a conifer. Uh, what a ball tree. I love it. Big fan of balls. There we go. We'll have some alien testicle plant. Excellent. Deconstructor. Eh, we'll bury that somewhere downstairs. Doesn't you don't need access to a deconstructor, you can just you know do it all via signals and stuff. So I like access to constructors in fairness. Um because you you know it makes sense to me. Walk up to it rather than access it all through the P menu and scrolling through lists and stuff like that. What is going on with that? <laughs> is it fi it's fine on the other side? Oh, you can't see it on the other side. Yeah, okay, we'll cover it up. It'll be fine, actually. That's uh, directly opposite there. So you're going to have to move, Sunshine. All right. <laughs> Boink. Curious Mind, thank you very much for the $10. 20 minutes ago. Don't forget about the LCDs. Hey, I already said thank you for that one. Everything's fine at one time. And uh, Curious Man gets a double thanks. You know, if anything, you should now thank me. Yeah. <laughs> right. What the hell did I just texture? Ah, it was the bottom of the stair block. Okay, that makes sense. Gotta be careful with stair blocks because they uh, suddenly become unairtight depending on whether there's an update or not. Fans, this is very important. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. So, what's the build, Span? Sorry, nipped off to start cooking me lunch. No worries, Discali. Uh, let me just finish this second and I'll go through it again. Because there's... I mean, you're not the only one to pop along and I have no idea what the bloody hell I'm doing. But anyway, in short, this is Blighted Carrier. It is needed for the next real kind of progression of my Let's Play uh, that I'm doing in Reforged at the moment. Uh, which I've, I've kind of stalled on a little bit because I need a mobile base. And that's the long and the short of it, really. I need a mobile base, um, and I have the carrier, but that's specifically designed for previous generation of reforged ships, not this generation. So, um, Blades Carrier is a much more universal uh, carrier ship. Whereas the carrier that I did, which is a Patreon exclusive, has got uh, specifically designed docking ports for the ships of that generation. Oh dear. 
<clears throat> I've been building my first player belt since 2020. Yeah, I mean, it must be nice for you to put down the um, the POIs for a change. Yeah. Oh, which thank you, by the way, Iskali. Nobody's ever said that to you before. Thank you very much for your your hard work in bringing POIs to the game. Different way of thinking, yeah. Yeah, very different way of thinking, I imagine. You know, I have. Uh, with POIs, it's, POIs can be fun. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, it, it's, but it's very much like, right? Okay, how do I how do I challenge the player without just murdering them? How do I make this fun and engaging without making it too easy? Um, yada 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 yada. Yad. Interesting as well. And it's and it's got to good, look good because it's representing the game as well. So, loads to consider, loads to think about. little orange hint behind here actually it's quite nice quite like it but i'm gonna dull it down a little bit a bit of orange going on, on the ceiling here as well just remind everyone that is the accent color you know a poi ship yeah that's not builders appreciate all of you who make us pois and ships of bases yeah thank you inara if you are Vermillion, it is more of a question of how many traps can you fit in the PMI. <laughs> yeah. I do I do think Vermillion gets some cathartic pleasure out of uh, some of his POIs. <laughs> That's for sure. For sure. Um, but undoubtedly, they're absolutely amazing as well. So The stuff he's created is just phenomenal. Bloody sector command, man. You know? Wow, what a POI. Alright. Making good progress. Practically, this is already a pretty good space to, to exist in. You know. You've got 15. That's 15, isn't it? I'm not being mad. Yeah, 15 grow plots. All right. Why are you putting railway textures on walls? Oh, what that? No, it's like good. It's not railways. It's like... Um, steel girders. I don't see that as rails. You can see it rails as you want. Uh, no, I don't see that as rails. I see that as like a... Um... <sighs> yeah, it's, I don't see it as rails. Um, right. We need to put a light back, don't we? Yeah, plus there's only so many textures. Yeah. Mm. All right. Uh, I wish I was consistent with my own builds. Kind of suck. I have been trying to make a set of faction ships and bases for my own faction. 
Void Knight. I mean, you just practice, and eventually, you guess you just develop your own style and stuff like that. But I mean, the way it works for me is I see certain block shapes, and only certain textures work on that block shape in my in my mind. So once you get the hang of what texture you like on a certain shape, then it actually becomes quite easy. Um, for me, I try and think about, well, okay, so I've got a random sort of curved block here in the middle of a hallway. What would this block serve in a ship? Would it be electronic circuitry, conduits? Would it be air vents? Things like that. Where the hell are armor lockers? <laughs> there they are. <laughs> I'm just staring at it. Ah, it's around here somewhere. Armor lockers. There does need to be a vent in here as well, because this is a sealed room. Sealed. Um, and that is the floor of the thing above, so we can't put it in the ceiling. Um, we have to go somewhere fun and exciting. Might just put it in the wall here behind this constructor. Yeah, yoink that out. And just stick it in there. The only drama with that is it looks all right behind the constructor, but I don't necessarily like it there. It looks fuggo. Fuggo! So I think it's going to have to be a thin. Because there's no ceiling room here. This is a one block high room. Tower goes in the floor. an armor locker. Take that out. Problem. Problem then. I wonder if an armor repair station can go upside down here. Hmm. Let's try. The hell is it? There it is. That just kind of works. Nothing's going to go here anyway. So the first block that you can use in this area is is these back here. So that's inaccessible. I mean, that there is quite cool. It works quite nicely. Detector, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's on here. Both kinds, long range and regular. Right. <clears throat> hey, Maximilian. Main style is gothic. Man, gothic builders, I, I am always amazed at what gothic builders can do in this game. It's awesome. What is going on there? Is that not texturable? Oh no. Hey Linda, happy new year. Hey Flack, happy new year. <laughs> Start off watching others when I first started playing, like 
some old and ancient streamers like Spanish here. Yeah, ancient, brutal. <laughs> Savagery, ancient, ancient man. Oh. You been playing the game far longer than me, heads agent. Okay, fine. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I can take it. Fine. I need some like symbol work or LCD work and something in here. Okay, an LCD is in here. It's gonna be a bloody nightmare though. <clears throat> no! I will stop it. I want to get rid of the bloody texture, all right? That's what I wanted to do. Why are you making it so difficult? LCDs on the doors, like the little, the little crappy ones. This one here, that sits there quite nicely. You can put that there. Is this by any chance the new carry you talked about in the Let's Play? This, the one you were not going to show. Yeah, last year. Yeah, pretty much. Um, that still reminds me, actually. You guys need to see it. For those of you, I haven't shown it to you yet. Uh, so, yeah, uh, once again, this was built by Blighted. And it had no texture on it. And was completely blank and featureless all the way around. So I've been working on this for months on and off, kind of here and there when I can. Today I thought, F it, I need to do actually progress this in order to progress my series. Let's just do a chill in the building. I mean, some some of you will probably want to see this work, right? But yeah, it's a big carrier, big flat top. So more traditional sort of carrier. And then it's a multi-story car park inside. And then everything important is kind of shoehorned around the outer walls and stuff. But right now I'm working on the con tower here, which was completely a blank slate, apart from the outer structure of it itself. And I figured that this would actually be a good place for the player to just exist. The whole ship and everything you need to exist in the game can be in here. So having to navigate the whole ship is unnecessary unless you're going to, I don't know, do maintenance or swap blocks out. That advanced warp drive. Yeah. Um, add quantum cores and things like that in there. Whole computer core down here, ready for quantums and auxiliary cores. Um, but there's a whole section at the front of the ship as well, which has got road plots, better core, and what was originally the bridge. Yep, that's all that was in there when Blighted gave it to me. It was two driver's seats. <laughs> it's just a bit. <laughs> uh, and the original texturing. <laughs> Which is chaotic, to say the least. So, uh, yeah, it's been a lot of work. Still a lot of work to do. We can get it. I mean, it works. It's functional. 
This is what we've been working on today. Production area. Some growth plots. You got an airlock. I was just thinking maybe we can put something like. <coughs> Warning! Don't forget your helmet. Check EVA. Let's see if we can do this in a different color. Um, color equals white. No, 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 no. Um, black. There we go. Look at that. Did a thing. Do a line center. Uh, a line equals center. I won't make the text any bigger because otherwise it'll just fall off the edge. The background color isn't RGB either, so it's just annoying, but we can make it black and it stands out like crazy. We can make it gray and it stands out like crazy. There's nothing really you can do about it. But you get the idea. Check EVA. Everything you need for disembarkation. And of course, um, I could put a no exit on here. This would be kind of work on it. That. That is an inner block. So that would probably have to be a LCD projector. And then we could say, let's put in stop signs. <laughs> Work. Stop. Let's put a regular stop sign. Sprite for size yes and then y rotation i think yeah then z push it out block Italy bit hate this about lcds big is the carrier what are we up to size class 22 size class 22 108 meters by 216 meters by 48 meters 27.2 kiloton dry weight give you a little bit of a uh, A little bit of size. Context. There's my little person. <laughs> Not as big as a Helios. Helios is bigger. Stop. Can you park a matter rest on that? Yeah, easy. Yeah, matter rest to sit on that quite nicely. I think. Matter rest is a big ship. Nah. Nah. Ma, na, ma, ma. Easily plop a mat rest on there. But I suppose the main thing is um, the core of the car. Corvus. Corvus. Here is the Corvus, like way chunkier than I remember it being. The Corvus will sit at the front there quite nicely. And then. Uh, on the YT sixteen hundred. Mm. Bicentennial pigeon. Oh, I think that could be. This is going to be the trick: is getting both the Corvus and pigeon on here, because it's not a. Um... It's not like built it's not like built to spec, you know what I mean? It was like Blade had a carrier, I went, oh, I'll use that and retrofit it. It might be a bit of a squeeze getting these ships on there. If I can get those two on there, I'll be much happier. I have a mining ship and a combat ship and then a mobile base. 
I think the Leviathan is the biggest ship on the workshop. The Leviathan? Leviathan? Not my Leviathan. Not my Leviathan. The lighting like in here. Moody, I love it. Sit upstairs. Go game. Yeah. Yeah, this space, I'm like, what on earth do I do here? I'll make a captain's ready room. It'd be a very big ready room, but I can make a captain's ready room here. Doesn't need to be huge, does it? It's a ready room. Hey, Don. Oh, J, uh, J Randall's Leviathan, yeah. You mean it's not big enough? J Renner's Leviathan is even bigger than the Helios. Ah. Uh, new Helios is 16, is it? Hey. Uh, yeah. That's pretty. It's pretty beefy. That is pretty beefy. Mess hall for the officers. Well, the mess I was going to put up here, actually. Well, down in this like lowered bit here. Because this area is going to be all like fridges and food processors and uh, again, some more maybe armor lockers and what not. What not. And medical. Medical was going up here, wasn't it? Medical. Um, yeah, so medical Pick up a medical in this corner here. Because otherwise there's not really enough room over here. Yeah. Be a bit of a squeeze. Bit of a 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 squeeze, but yeah. Mm, it'd be doable. A little dance floor. <laughs> Music always implies something big is happening, and then the Spanish changes the colour of the wall to grey. <laughs> It's on shuffle. I, I, I haven't got a DJ working in the background going, oh, this is the mood. Yeah. So let's do a little cheeky remix on this one. Drop, drop a bass. There we go. <laughs> it's just on shuffle. I mean, that sounds great though, isn't it? Anyway. Um, yeah. I know what can go there. The situation room. Yeah? The situation room can go there. There's a block for this, I swear. Is it that one? No, no. Maybe there isn't a block for this, actually.
Kind of the closest one. I swear there was a one that was. Hmm. Maybe I am imagining things. Probably. Although, although. That's just going to be really confusing. Yeah, this is really confusing. Yeah. Super confused. More blocks. <laughs> it never ends. They could add a thousand new blocks and I'd still find one that I need right now for this exact situation that is inconceivable until you actually hit it. It's inconceivable. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, meow, meow. It's a bit of an odd duck, that one, isn't it? A little bit of an odd duck, one would say. Yeah, that just leaves a hole, like, random. I'm doing now. Uh, stuff has got confusing. Why did I start this? trying to preserve the original block work but to be honest you know it just didn't work i need to remove it and move on <laughs> moving on Valentia, Mr. Jules. Good evening. Gerald should be attached to the outside of the ship and used as space armor. I agree with that. Not oh, hardly. God, when is the day when I can play this game more than a few day? I always start it and then quit. 
even go space a few times. I don't know, dude. You gotta, you gotta stick with it if you want to get end game stuff. You know, it takes a lot of sticking with it, putting up with it, and bullshit. You know, Don, thank you for the twenty dollars. Happy New Year. Hope you have a great one. Thank you very much, Don. I think you made that quite a lot easier to do now. So thank you very much. Trade <laughs> same with me, Bola, says Trendy. Wanted to let you know how much I appreciate all the time and effort you're making content for this game. Thank you, Palantir. Appreciate you, dude. Uh, see you later, peeps getting a bit tired, so best pop in the bed. Hey, boy, night. Take it easy, bud. Have a good sleep. My issue is to get sidetracked and creative. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you have got to be kidding me right now. Really? This, this is... Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's some bullshit right there. That is some bullshit right there. Bullshit right there. That's some bullshit right there. No, that one. No. 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 To be honest, uh... Much like a floor, though. That's the problem with that one. It doesn't belong on a wall. Much like a floor. Yeah, of course you'd be double aspect and you'd be single aspect. Yeah, makes sense. Do you have all the textures memorized? What they look like? Pretty much. Yeah. Oh, pretty much. It's, um. Tricky little transitions like this and stuff where you you got some, some lighting and then it goes up here but you can't carry it on without it being like awkward. So the question is like do you end the lighting flat where you can make this a, a statement about it ending? You know, so like a junction box type texture, cabinet type thing where the electronics can go into, or the paneled one also works for me. This one as well looks good for ending wiring, circuitry, that sort of thing. Now this one could probably circumnavigate the entire thing, but you get this problem here. Well, I could rotate that block around, but to be honest, normally I'd, I'd actually quite celebrate that being a double aspect, because it gives you so many more options. In fact, you're then like better off just rotating these ones. 
So these are double aspect as well. And this will give us the option of making a lighter colour. something along these lines anyway we even go full bright full bright lights all the way around proper glowy <laughs> um, and then run that texture all the way along the bottom Green Corex. Um, building Blades Carrier. Trying to finish Blades Carrier. A lot of work to do though. To try and make this into some kind of like um, practical living area. A lot of the ship has like, RP and stuff in it, but um, this is. I'm going to try and keep this into a sort of somewhat practical. But yeah, there's going to be a lot of texturing today, guys. Sorry. I realise not not the most entertaining, engaging. But it needs to be done. The problem with this is like, I've got that one texture on that wall there, but it paints it on both sides. So I want the outside to be the darker grey. I just use these multiple floor textures here just to kind of zone out this area into different sections. So without using like actual walls and stuff like that, you can you can zone out the room quite easily. Creating paths and almost like hospital lines. Are you kidding me? I love something new. Hey! <laughs> hey, Boomer. Kaiser, you know he loves ramming into bow, so I hope he lives more than a minute in the bow. What? Hey, what are you talking about? <laughs> also, happy to you. I don't mind watching others texture, I do mind having to texture myself. Oh, yes. Well, that's it, isn't it? to texture 
the ultimate curse of the builder, the textures, I tell you. Right, watch out. Trigger warning, I'm going to put railways on the ceiling. <laughs> It's a thin block ceiling, isn't it? So this is only one high here. Oh, that's... Um, that creates quite a unique challenge for lighting. If you get turn your flashlight off when you're doing lighting. Lighting becomes... interesting at this point. Seems as that light is it's all half blocks and stuff. We've got a little dark patch in the middle here, but otherwise that is actually pretty well lit. I do not have my flashlight on right now, so... Not too bad. You only need the one light. I know. But then you get symmetry, which... I mean, that could probably come off, actually. Doesn't bother me because it's in line with the window, then, and the stairs. I need to turn that one up, though. Really nicely lit down here. Not bad up here. All right, so let's see if we can get a medical, full medical in here, uh, in this little section here. It's gonna be quite a tight squeeze. But we've got two sections divided by the wall there. I'm gonna get some furnishing in here as well. I've only really got <clears throat> one high. So, I'm a bit shoehorned in the corner here. So a regular chamber there and Two standard sort of diagnostics here and here. And then our two beds on the other side. I can put them end to end or side by side. Can we do side by side with a gap in the middle? Now what we can do... It's all just out there, isn't it? Right? And we can create... Um, Got barriers like this. Or we can actually use whole blocks. Create some kind of walls. But given that we've got a mezzanine level up here anyway, privacy is out the window. Can't actually put anything there, can I? No. What is. Uh, the window is occupying that block. This is the missing bit of railing, which is really kind of like irritating. <laughs> it's like, why? Why you do this? Why are you missing? I quite like these locks. You can see through them. They're not solid, but they have quite a nice like effect. And here we're just gonna have to use railings, I think. They create like a divide. These are the glass ones. Diagonal.
We want it on ground here. It's kind of like random bookshelves just set around. <laughs> it looks kind of odd. The video railings, is there any height? Half height. The other option is you do the pipe block texture here. It looks really weird on its own, and this might not work because of the ceiling. Because then I can't add. blocks over the top of it to complete the effect. I'll show you what I'm talking about because I've got it. Uh, oh, hello. Got it going on down here in this medical area. These are the pipe blocks. They look like curtains. A certain carpet texture and stuff like that. So you can create this whole medical area. And then the bookshelves there I've got going on here. But dividing the room. But we don't have enough space over here to really do the same thing. So I don't think that's going to work here. But I just wanted to show you guys what, what I was talking about. I think we'll put the bookshelves there. Um from that side, and then we'll just use rail railings everywhere else. we've got full medical up there now the main thing hey fake weaver happy new year to you too that room is asymmetrical what you mean symmetry ha ah, right, I see what you're saying what do you mean symmetry it's an asymmetrical room I got you a bit slow on the start up there uh, Sorry, mate. <laughs> uh, right. Situation room. Reduce the range of this down to like 10 because we don't need that being. We need a potted plant in here, obviously. Now then. <clears throat> the best way to create a board room table in my experience. I don't know, there have been a lot of people that have been creating these things. But in a compact area, that's that's the best setup that I found. Uh, some people use half blocks. They'll actually put like this block on the ground like this, and then they'll put chairs around it. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, hello everybody, welcome to the board meeting. <laughs> For me, it just looks so so wrong. Um, the benches. Where's the bench? There we go. The picnic tables here. You can do the same thing there as well. Great, a sort of boardroom kind of thing looking. But the benches don't really gel with me. Whereas it, these, these kind of table assets actually look kind of half decent. But yeah, getting a, a boardroom style table setup, not easy. Lots of options, but nothing really works particularly well. A screen on the wall there, and a screen hanging from the ceiling. I can't hang it from the ceiling because the half blocks. A little bit there. And let's go with the wood texture here. 
Executive panelling. Irritating. That works though. Nah. There we go. Situation room, done. Based up with Chelsea railings in between. Yeah, it might work. I, I just felt the railings in, in, in this uh, line just looked a bit odd. Uh, I think I think the way it's turned out is okay. Alright, so over here. Oh, this is going to be tricky because of the windows and again half blocks and stuff, but let's at least get an O2 station up here. Switch the aspect of that railing. Maybe like that. That works. Now, I was like, let's put an armor locker up here, but um, it, would, it would sit in this block here again because of the half blocks. Kind of screw it up a little bit, so maybe we'll leave that and just leave the O2 station there. Armor locker stuff is all downstairs anyway. Uh, situation room one block texture missing. Yeah. Uh, I suppose I could put that like that. I, I kind of wanted that to be left like its little kind of feature block, to be honest, because it's um, it's the odd one out. To be honest, I haven't done the ceiling either. Don't get smacked in the face by the planet. Smack! Uh. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's kind of opposites, isn't it? That's a bit weird. Like that. Yeah, all right. I'll accept. Does this room have a vent? Mm, I don't think it does actually. No O2, O2, no O2, O2, no O2. Mm, now, what can we do about that? What can we do about that? Can't put a vent in the ceiling. Can't really put a vent in the floor. Take up a block and it can become a vent. I, yeah, I need the plan. Non airtight armored doors don't exist, do they? Airtight, yes, airtight, yes, airtight, yes. The double aspect ones are all airtight. 
put two like single use glass doors there but that would just be annoying as well all right now we got got this bit down here first actually so got our grow plots of stuff down there this is where we're going to add the fridges and stuff basically our kitchen cafeteria type thing we need those and we need the fridge block blocks yeah it goes there goes talking again um and food processor where you at there you are right hello He's like, yeah, a big sofa would not really gonna like, but then there's literally nowhere for a table. I think it would be like, bam, lamb, lamb. Finish the finish it off with a potted plant. Hello, <laughs> in your face. bad view for, for lunch hey you mate Zanik how you doing buddy welcome along how the devil are you sir yeah it's been really um, up against trying to get this carrier done so it was just like screw it come on let's make it content why not oh I know why no, I don't know why. Why not? That is um That is really weird that this this face of that block cannot be textured. Elliot That's weird as well. The base of that doesn't change colour either. Alright, well, fine. 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 I'll, I'll do it without you. Uh, that's the end of that. Be careful here, because I, I do want the outside here to stay this, this, this grey, so... Um, that's always going to clip through the window there. Uh, I might need a transitioning block here rather than part of the tiling. Something like that. No. Are you using Reforge Creative for this? Yes, sir, I am. Hey, Media Master, thank you very much for gifting 10 subs. Wow, dude. And then, and all, twice, 20 subs. Damn, dude. Thank you very much. That's amazing. <laughs> That's super generous, my friend. Thank you very much, dude. That, that is that is awesome. That is very much awesome. Very much appreciated. Guys, if you have just got a sub from Media Master, do do be do make sure you say thank you. What a gentleman. Absolute gentleman. Hey, I'm great, man. Just took a break. Like uh, a big one. <laughs> I get it. Really get it, dude. No worries. Does that mean you're are you coming back? 
Are you gonna pick up the old YouTube thing again and try some some more stuff, or are you done done? Maybe dark block floor, left side of window. Oh, I can't, I can't texture this stuff at all. Ah, la, 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 la. Oh, you mean this one here? Um. Yeah, again, this is this is problematic down here, isn't it? Problematic, but I could take that one out. In fairness, and do something like to play with. Um, go to station like that right and that then the matches a little bit that's cool it was like a bit a bit of this texture with that Good suggestion. Good suggestion, Prime. Hey, Hound. Medium Master knows. Uh, you got me started on Imperium years ago. Uh, the least I could do. I do. Thank you. Too nice. Hail, Hound. <laughs> much better. Very nice. Good suggestion, Prime. Thank you very much. Ugh. The only thing missing from here is like the in, in, a, a little injection of orange. Um, you know, the accent color. It's tricky because if I do, do a table like that, it's just like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> that looked right. Make them blue. Nah. Hey, Tyrion, happy new year to you too, sir. Uh, I'm pretty comfy hiding in the bushes for now, lol. I'm coming back in the near future, sir. Okay, cool. You, yeah, good man. Hope those bushes serve you well. All good, mate. You do what you need to do, buddy. We chill in the building. Play its carrier. He needs it. So much work to do stuff there. Making progress. Making progress. But uh, yeah, once this contour is done, uh, we should head into the shield room and get that done. And then the main biggest thing that's like upsetting me, it's not the right word, but I'll go with it, is the, the crew quarters down the side. Like that's such a pain in the bum. But um, let's get this con tower done, and then we'll worry about that. <clears throat> okay. Look on tower. Right, there's a nice little technique that Vermillion does with these um, with these units here, combined with consoles and crew. You can either put something like that in the middle there, or this, or this guy.
It's a bit awkward having all that there, though, I think, because that's going to be like... I think we should put that back here. This is where we need a cockpit. Wood, trees, sea, pump. Uh, found here somewhere. You guys probably already found it. <laughs> Go ahead. There, there, sponge. Left a bit, right a bit, up a bit, down a bit. <laughs> we go row by row. <laughs> it blends in the cockpit. I tell you, I could never fucking see it. There it is on the left. Bye. All rest easy now. For those of you that were screaming at the screen, I beg forgiveness. Thank your patience. Left middle. There you go. I knew it. <laughs> I knew you guys would be there before me. really don't like how obtrusive these these large see i love the size of them because like i wish that one was mirrored as well much better so they look like proper actual because these things look like yeah okay you know if if it was a fighter craft or something you know i mean we haven't got a mirror middle have we we've got maybe the best i think Nightmare. Massive, massive things. Nice bit of greenery. No, not really. <laughs> Put it there where that is, but I kind of like, I feel like that is the only freaking active display here. And I have an active display anywhere, it needs to be there, right? Uh, right, we do need some lighting in here. And this needs to be. Tactical lighting. That's a little too tactical. Yo, look at that freaking light coming off of this thing. It's beaming up here like crazy. Shine in the eyes of the pilots. Good job. Could you change the shaping of the ceiling a bit to help? Looks like they're full blocks. They can always make some indentations. I think they are full blocks here. Yeah. Mm. No, they're halves. There's some of them are, uh, are full, fairness. I think um, here onwards, oh, oh. Oh, we could definitely make space for these. And then everything else is half or shaped already. Do 
Oh my god. Make it blink. <laughs> flashy, flashy. Red alert light, yeah? Your red alert light. Flashlights off. We do red alert light. We put one there, one there, and um, make this one grey, so it's not like ah. There, you want a blink frequency on this one of like. Yeah, red alert. <laughs> Three seconds. Is, that's good. Put that one as uh no we'll put that one the same one otherwise you get a red like you want. Go on intrusive red. Red alert. Zero signal logic in this thing so far. That's another thing we have to do. Oh my gosh. Ceiling. Ceiling texturing as well. <coughs> the walls haven't been done yet. Piss it down, so bam it in. Bam time. Bam bam. Just look at how that place changed the different ceiling. Yeah, yeah, it definitely opens up, doesn't it? It's a very good suggestion. Very, very good, very, very good.
railway lines on the ceiling again. Possibly. Uh, this doesn't transition well, but maybe that's just in my brain. It does happen. As Jay Randall said, one of the things he always looks at is the ceiling and finds that many don't do anything with it. If you look at J's and smanges for the matter, most of the ceilings have some shaping to them. Yep. Every floor, ceiling, the wall, it's all important. This is, yeah. Jenna G said, thank you for the $10. Happy New Year's, man. May this be the year of Gerald. And 100k subs. Jenna G said, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Gerald can go after himself and the 100k subs thing. Oh, I appreciate you very much. That would be, that would be very special. Would be lovely. <laughs> I'll do my best as always. Difficult when the outside is um, half block textures. There are some good half block textures you can use, though. Uh, textured blocks, rather. These guys, for example, they can be used. Uh, oh, right. Yeah, never mind. It's on the other aspect. Can't be used. Be facing that way around. It'd be weird. So that. The new? Pretty much all of them, actually. Hmm. First two ship of 2024. Let's go. Is that going to work on the log, dude? Yeah, these half blocks basically live, very much limit what you can do with the ceiling here. So it is, it is just texturing that we can do here. And even that is probably quite limited you can run that over that's not too bad that at least gives the room somewhat zoning in line with everything else as well you don't want to be like so you don't want to have the feeling of like, like being too penned in it's quite good because that, that raised ceiling that we've now added there actually gives this room a lot more height, makes it look a hell of a lot bigger than it is until you get here. And then it's like, OK, this is actually quite squishy, quite squishy now. Um, is that rotated? Yeah, it is. I don't know if choosing a lighter color here will open this up or not. actually does. I think the lighter grey does actually give that a little transition. Yeah. Doesn't make it it makes it look less less repressive. Less repressive. Than the lighter grey there. Oppressive, sorry, not you know what I mean. Oh oppressive. Right, so this one what we could do as well, we can get that to follow red alert, but turn it off in the opposite direction. So, when the signal is not active, it should be off. Red alert's on. Red alert's off. Normal lighting resumed. There you go. of our row of window ceilings following the window. Uh, that could work. Really? Yeah, I've got an asymmetrical kind of... Um... <laughs> Riddler? <laughs> got an asymmetrical detector pod going on there. Which I could probably trans plant to the back, maybe in this section here. 
It's not a bad idea. I like it. Um, we can give it a go. Detector. We take these guys out. I'll breach. What do you think? Like two by two? So there? And we keep that as is. Maybe. And then we create a sort of similar... Oh, these are whole blocks. Oh yeah, of course they are. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> Crap. Silly. Undo is your friend. There you go. Put me down there. There we Creating these different like um, block shape areas, they're like random as hell when you first create them. But they give you an opportunity to make fairly unique looking. What they call it, greeting. And you can be buried with the textures and stuff in here. Have a bit of fun with it. Breaks up the ceiling a bit. Right. Could uh, extend that there as well. Summon. Hey, you Uh This is Blighted's Carrier. This is Blighted's Carrier. Um, will be. Right, so this may not... What is that? That is a... Okay. That doesn't quite work. Fast <laughs> Linda, thank you very much for the 125 kroners. 
Thank you very much. That's awesome. Little Christmas bonus, not much, but from a rotten heart. <laughs> Big dirt. Thank you, dude. I appreciate it. That's awesome. Thank you very much. Play it definitely needs carrying from time to time. Uh, well, I mean, this is this is um, this is for me actually. It's not for Blated. Uh, this is I need this ship for a continuation of my my Let's Play series. I need something to carry around my fleet and to become a mobile base for me. So, uh, Blated had this carrier, and he said, "Hey, hey, hey Spanch." Hey, Spanch, why don't, why don't you just, uh... Why do I sound like Rick from Rick and Morty? <laughs> hey, Morty, 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 just, just, just build my carrier, Morty. Just, just make it finished, Morty. Morty, uh, you know, this is it's easy, Morty. Just, just finish it. There's barely any work to do, Morty. <laughs> Blade doesn't sound like Rick. Don't we Blade in fresh? <laughs> it's just drifted into Rick for some reason. Anyway. The jink looks better. Bro, right, that Ricky pressure was indistinguishable. <laughs> Wasn't that good? Uh, <laughs> Rick, Rick's easy to do. It's the burp, it's the uh, the belching we're talking I can't do though. That's amazing. <laughs> Doesn't feel so cramped now, does it? That's a nice aspect. I've actually pushed this back one block. That, um... Yeah, it's uh, that one there. Might push that back one block, and then that means we can actually have. Blah, 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 blah. This guy. That man, yeah, they're good, yeah. Oh yeah, no, I can't have the windows colored that color because they color on both sides. They irritating. And there we go. <laughs> Swish. <laughs> Alright. Pond Tower done then, isn't it? Haven't forgotten anything. We're gonna cram this full of crew, don't worry. Oh, these back walls aren't textured. Well they they are textured, but they're not textured right. You gotta re texture. That was easy. <laughs> that was easy. Here we go. Oh. Okay. Very nice. Thank you, Rizzo. I might actually make that. I've got the blue in there, but I might actually make that orange. As you are streaming, known will you still be streaming tonight? Uh, do you mean now? <laughs> As you are streaming now, will you be streaming tonight? Uh, yeah, yeah, streaming tonight is planned. We're, we're back in Moria tonight. So we're starting Ark, and I'll do a proper announcement about this. I need to get the Ark server up and running and stuff and test it before I do the announcement. Otherwise, um, if things go wrong, there'll be a riot. Sorry guys, we're gonna do art today, and then we effed up. Sorry, 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 sorry. So yeah, there'll be a proper formal announcement on that as soon as I get the server done, which um, I'm not sure when I'm gonna do that, but I've enlisted uh, Adam's help, Laney's other half. 
who runs an ARC server, so he'll be able to help me set that up nice and quickly. But yeah, no more um, diggy diggy hole on Monday, uh, to the tonight, sorry, and then Friday we're starting ARC plan. Subject depend change depending on, you know, if we can get the server going. Which I'm sure we will. I'm sure we will. Okay, I could banny about here putting little textures on things all day, but um, let's maybe move on, shall we? He says, fannying around, putting more textures everywhere. All right. And shape snacks, yes. That's it. Uh, uh. Can I put a door on this elevator? Kind of just like a hole into nowhere, isn't it? It's like the abyss. Put a little door. In one, not an armored one. What? Oh yeah. There we go. Right. Better. Put a hole into the abyss. This room seems to be quite dark. No flashy on at the moment. Yeah. Darkness. Darkness awaits. Do you know what though? I actually quite like the bulkhead texture there. It's going into an engineering section, so it's like kind of like, yeah. You are descending into nonsense now. Good luck. Put another one of those doors here. I don't know why. I just feel elevators should have doors. Uh, okay, so we need some mood lighting in here. This area is very much kind of the shield center, right? So what's a good shielding color? Blue is the color the shield graphic comes up as, isn't it? Like a, a sky of cyan blue. So, a sort of eerie bluey greeny glow. From within the shield arrays. Might work quite well. But then you got the pentaxid purple as well. So, what is it? What is it? Look at that. Now that is a narrow margin right there, look. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> Thank you, Merlin. Happy New Year to you too, sir. Dash chicken, think of the follow. Welcome along. A rave in the engineering bay. Oots, oots, oots. <laughs> yeah. Pointing texture once you apply it that many times, isn't it? I wonder about this one. That way around. And out. Yep. Bastard. Oh, hey now. You're a rock star. Game on. Hey, hey. That one has been used a lot, though. It's really. I like that. That works. And I like the hydraulics texture. I like to put that near doors and moving parts. But as long as you got the spinny spinnies, so. 
I think it fits the rule for that texture. Is this the room where the laundry is done? <laughs> yeah. Lots of lots of tumble dryers going, isn't there? Yeah. You nailed it, Merlin. Absolutely nailed it. Diggy nerf yak fat. What? <laughs> hey Gabby. Meanwhile the engineering decks are like oots oots. I feel, always feel like engineering spaces should be lit orange since they seem like they would be hot, dangerous places. And the colour reminds me of submarine movies. I like that reasoning, Resurgum. That's awesome. Um, I agree with you on part. I do. I do like the orange lighting. It's warm and stuff like that. But um, I like the orange lighting more in kind of like living areas. That are supposed to be like relaxing and stuff. I find the orange lights are quite kind of um, chill. Uh, so for my engineering bays, I tend to use a lot of blue glowies. Uh, because that's like Promethean fuel lines in my head. I put all sorts of glowies everywhere, to be honest, but, you know. Yeah, I gotta kind of remember this is a modern engineering bay as well, so it's not going to be like freaking coal-fired <laughs> coal fired generators and stuff, is it? Um, I'm surprised you haven't finished this tub yet. All right, thanks. Thanks, Merlin. <laughs> Whereas stuff like these giant generators, they've obviously got these the blue glowies and stuff on them. So they try and kind of uh, follow that that lead, as it were, that, that Elion has kind of pushed us towards. The blue glowy. Steam spunk. Steam spunk. Oh my god. I'm just going to give up talking, I think. It's overrated anyway, isn't it? Steam spunk. I don't even know where that's... Where that's going to go. Not, not to anywhere that's, you know, PG-13, that's for sure. Steam spunk. <laughs> Brendan, I'll let you take this one. <laughs> this is your department. <laughs> <laughs> Steam's <Steve's> fuck. <laughs> Bang. Fuck me. Can't do it anymore. Fan struck too much last night. This is a thing I didn't. New category on porn <laughs> Yeah. I don't even know. Let's maybe not explore what it would mean. It'd probably get us shut down. I've been unable to word successfully today. But so far, I've been unable to word successfully. Wording has been hard. Unrelated to Steam, Steam Spunk. Spanish.exe has crashed. I don't know, it's crashed. I think it's got a virus. It's gone rogue. Been hijacked. Part of me likes these things like support girders and using the bulkhead texture on them makes them look kind of supporty, right? Part of me wants to put loads of glowies all over them. All up in their face. <laughs> Good on myself, sorry.
How much would it matter again? The shields were actually visible. Depends how much like you want them to accurately wobble or light up and stuff when they get hit. And then reforged, your shields get hit. There's you can see the actual shield um, wobbling. Vanj, I have been wondering something. Is Gerald actually Laney? You never see them both in the same room together. And there's then there's the betrayal. Yeah, hmm. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if Laney is addicted to gambling though. This is the problem with um, Gerald. Is so much debt. He thinks he is God's gift to poker, and he really isn't. He sucks at it. What is this blue thing? Just blue. Just random blue wall. Very random. Glad any gambles with your lives all the time. This is a very good point. I hadn't considered that point of view. Yeah. You may be onto something. Ask her tonight. In fact, I'm gonna message her. I'm gonna message her and say, Are you streaming tonight, Laney? Stream. Stream woman. We're all just that. Uh, maybe we should just at her on a Discord. Stream! <laughs> stream! Lady, stream! There you go. I messaged her. Let the inappropriate harassment start. Okay. <laughs> right, where were we? Ah, uh, yes, of course. High pitch. High pitch, guys. Let it be known that I have provided ample high pitch. And I'll put these as a nice bright glowy because they're up, they're up in the rafters. When you're walking around, you won't actually see much of them. But you'll catch glimpses of them from certain angles and stuff like that. And it's always nice to be able to see, like, some stuff going up up in, up in the roof. Up on the roof. Mysterious hole. Did I just not fill this in? Is it incomplete? This feels like a great place to put something. Ooh, right now. Can it fit a big ass hydraulic thingy, Majiggy? Oh, yes, it can. I mean, there's one right there, but that's through the other wall. Put that there, that. Oh, yeah, look at that. Give it some orange. Give it some glitz and glamour.
Yes. This looks like some proper techy crap going on up in here. Almost looks like the engineering bays of the Kelvin timeline Star Trek. Just freaking industrial random. Oops. Next charity stream goal should be Lady Face Reveal. Mm hmm. The new sponge block, aka the car alarm. What? It really bothers me the cargo containers are so limited to their texture options. I know. I don't know why they don't just open all textures for all blocks. I really don't. It's like, what? what is the point of restricting it? America, is the music too loud, is it? Uh, you are the first person to say that, so... If it is too loud, guys, I can turn it down, but... An 80%? 75%? How's that? Let me know. Um, happy new people. Hey, Mongo. Let the misery begin. So, uh, I, don't, I think it's it's safe to say there will never, ever, 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 ever be a Laney face reveal. Although, you could also say never say never, but, you know, I don't think there will be. It's, um, it's very different for, for uh, women to be putting their face out on the internet, you know? People don't give a crap what I look like. Uh, you know, some people can be very vicious and judgy. You know, so what that she's got three nostrils you know it doesn't bother me at all my headphones are still sitting on my desk so I don't have a clear idea of audio balance <laughs> alright trend day no worries dude the audio master in the house though not wearing his headphones. What is going on? Um, she could use one of those VTuber thingies, the animated things some folks use. I told her that. I think we talked about that ages ago. That she get, she should animate her little owl logo as a VTuber thing. I honestly wish I had the patience to texture like this. Lady's married, so can't be that bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, well, yeah. I have no doubt that, you know, Lainey is a good looking woman, but uh, I don't know. Nobody know and nobody's going to know. So you may as well just basically drop it. And move on. Anyway, um, a bit of lightness in here. 
So it's engineering. Does it have to be drab and dreary? It'll be light and sparkly. With cables everywhere. And piping. Mm, yes. You haven't received a myriad of wildly inappropriate adoration of that marvellous beard of yours. <laughs> I've, I've received some very hurtful things from people. I'm fine, I'm joking. Um, yeah. People have um, complimented the beard, critiqued the beard, called me names, all sorts of stuff. It happens. But I would say it's not regular. That's the key. It's not something that happens often. It has happened, and it will continue to happen, but it's an amount often. <laughs> so when are you doing the LCD? <laughs> yeah. There is a new tool. Um, one of the guys in my Discord community and the Imperion community in general has created an LCD creation tool um, that I need to need to actually go and figure out how to use so that I can do a video on it and promote it and stuff like that. So I will be doing that and featuring that and hopefully that will make um, LCD work so much easier and faster and quicker and better and awesomer and stuff. I just need to actually, you know, do it. Figure it out. Oh, right. How does this work? <coughs> Excuse me. Every now and again, a little cough will come along, catch me completely off guard. So I apologise for that. Oh, lots of diagonals here. Make them go away. got a flat wall here because we don't have a flat wall on the other side we could um, add some blocks to this to, to mix it up a little bit but I'm gonna choose to use um, deco instead let me do things like this simple easy deco put a console between them you know yeah, uh, we need um, some sort of engineering consoles down here. They're half blocks as well, so we won't touch those. Up on the wall here, we can put some piping. Us, remind ourselves what the uh, the uh, accent color color is. Yeah, we'll be adding crew later. Um, I want to go through and add all the sort of consoles and stuff that they'll go through later and add a huge number of crew. I want to do it right now because I want to keep like track of it while I do it. Because crew is reasonably easy to acquire. It's usually easy to find 
crew. Um, but large numbers of crew, not so much. It takes a long time to visit that many habitats and stuff. So I don't want to over-crew the ship. I don't want to just go like, blah, crew everywhere, and then suddenly I'm like, wow, okay. I don't think it, I think it you will know, struggle to do that anyway, but yeah, still. At the moment, I'm just assuming this is going to require auxiliary cores to add enough crew to drop 1.8 million CPU. <laughs> What's 1.8 million divided by 2,000? Somebody going to beat me to it. Oh, piss. My thingy pissed up. One eight zero. Divided by, by two thousand nine hundred. <laughs> I need nine hundred crew. <laughs> yeah, ain't happening. <laughs> Too many exactly. Nine hundred crew. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So I don't think we could over crew it then, could we? But still. Um, uh, right, hello. This is a nice space. That is... Pain of extensions there. there was a med bay here. I wish I kept the original blueprint. I overwrote it like a spoon. Should have kept the original blueprint to show you guys. I can just get blighted to send it to me again. For large crew, you need lots of crew wars. Yeah, well, I mean, we're going we're gonna to get to the crew quarters section in a minute. We're going to have lots of crew quarters. Don't you worry about it. I mean, probably not 900 crew quarters, but still a respectable amount, I suppose. going on in there it's far too much of this far too much of that texture
333 beds for hot bunking in three shifts. Haha, <laughs> there we go. What does crew exactly? Is it like additional CPU capacity? Yeah, they basically reduce CPU usage by like 2,000 each crew member. <laughs> hey, Key, thank you very much. Appreciate you. Guys, I just need to go to the loop. I will be right back. I'm going to leave you with the ambiance of Blade's Carrier. I'll be back in a moment. Darn chair. Uh, I'm back. Really like the aircraft carrier look. Thank you, one cool dude. Yeah, it's it's um. I wasn't I wasn't happy with just having a, a flat top. Um, the flat top being you know obviously a popular design for a very good reason. Doesn't interfere then with ships parking on the top. But uh, I wanted to have um you know a con tower. And because of the position of the thrusters back here, they were, there was already like lumps back here for them. So I, I built them around, I built around those to create uh, a comms array and a con tower. What still only counts as one? <laughs> Ghibli? <laughs> <laughs> oh, where were we? Right, we were just finishing up the shield array uh, part of the engineering deck. We've got the shield array on this side, and on the opposite side is the computer core. Then, um, you know, main engineering, the warp core, four advanced generators. At that point, you'd be like, well, wouldn't a fusion be better? Yeah. But have you seen the size of a fusion reactor? Getting that in here would cut into the hangar space. You'd have a big sort of dip on the rear hangar there. Um, so I didn't opt for a fusion reactor. Plus also fusion reactors are a fucking nightmare to build. Uh, resources you need. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Uh, this is the computer course. So you've got room for auxiliary cores and quantum cores in here. Remove a block, place a claw. Four. Four. <sighs> and then the main CPU computer room. And the actual core. When through, you could place an advanced core. That would help with the CPU. Engineering is kind of like double layered. Got like an inner and outer wall.
you know, just get to those pesky warp core breaches. Right then, this is where we actually finally need to turn symmetry mode on. This is as far as I've gotten for the crew quarters. Uh, this one, the last one I did. Now these rooms are sort of big enough for a bed and a um, bathroom. That's basically it. Well, there's enough room down here for them and also the floor below uh, can be converted into crew quarters or a bowling alley. Yeah, but yeah. We're going to stick with crew quarters. I'm hoping... Oh, well, I... Hoping to copy and paste this deck down one, it doesn't really work like that because the layout of the stairs is one block over. So I copied this down. The entering's way down here would, would line up with this rather than this. And then the whole lot is out of alignment anyway. So I think we're just gonna have to do it manually. CPU claw. <laughs> New block going soon. CPU claw. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> there's this there's the uh symmetry. Oh dear. Like I've got the I like I got blighted's brain tonight. Yeah, your blade could sit there for like two minutes going, Dad, Dad, you know, the uh, the um what's it called? The uh the uh and he can't think of the word. Got a blade brain. Blade brain. Anyway, these should be the same on both sides. Yeah, except some inconsistencies once again with the texturing. Probably due to half blocks and how he really doesn't know what to do with them. But let's crack on. Here's the next room. So what we're going to need is furnishings and potted plants. No, I don't think we got that far. It's literally pure furnishing, isn't it? Look, I've even put carpet in. Nice. Carpet. Carpet texture. Lovely. Is that it? Is that it? Is that it? That's it. Okay. Um, let's try not to copy the other rooms. Let's just let's just a uh, crack on. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, use wardrobe rather than that, otherwise it appears in the uh, four menu. And we need bathroom blocks. So toilet. Let's face these around the other way. Toilet and shower. We put a bathroom counter like that. And we can put. Are they gonna work? What have we done over here? Oh, something very similar. Not too far off. Yeah, got the same bits in it, isn't it? Needs privacy when it's your room. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> right. Some nice wood paneling. Door lighting. Yeah, yeah. And the illusion of storage. Yeah, actually, yeah, actually having any storage. Lighting. How the hell did I do lighting? Oh look, I've got a actual is that is that real? Have I done that on purpose? It does look like it, look, look. Every single room has got a bright light block. Yes, that makes sense. Yeah. Without my flashlight on, 
it's it's lit kind of in it kind of lit and i'm not like speaking slang lit <laughs> right it's lit, lit. Oh, shut up <laughs> there we go hey lone wall thank you very much for the 20 dollars Thank you for all the hours of content over the past year. Happy New Year, sir. Thank you very much, Lone Wolf. That is, that is greatly appreciated, So Thank you very much. Oh, oh. So weird. Why, is, why does it get so dark? <laughs> yeah, thank you, Lone Wolf. That's awesome, man. Appreciate you. Darkness. Unless you look look up a bit. Darkness. <laughs> so weird. All right. I didn't actually take too long. One room down. All right. Okay. So what are we doing here? Are we. Yeah. I'm gonna complete this wall here. Requires a corner. You. That is, yeah. Okay, so that is a thin block. So we can't actually use any of those blocks there at all. I'm thinking we put the bed like that. End table. And we make this the light wall. Like that. This is going to be a bit of cramped. Where's the other one? Oh, yeah. So many half blocks in here. Oof. This is not a good one. So I could potentially use back of the shower as the wall here but then you get the tile texture um oh i put the toilet there which is hello i'll breach but then even with that which does work be better i am inside this person's room <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't need a key, which is quite funny. <laughs> and now I'm gonna do this room. How have I done ones like it? So this, yeah. So this is the same. Oh, I see. And, ah, okay, they don't have. Doesn't have a bathroom counter. In fact, the one that I just did. This is the only one that has a bathroom cat. This is a posh room. This is a posho's. This is a posho room. Okay. And that's basically it. Stop it! <laughs> Starship should have carpet. Yeah, impressive. Yeah. Yeah, over this actually. Do it that way. Here we are. Nope. Oh, wrong button. Really dark in here, though, isn't it? I don't know what to do with the lighting situation. There's just not enough block space to really. Oh, I can put a light in there. Oh. That'll be the wrong colour then. 
Oh yeah, I'll light everything out that will. Blind you in the eyes. There's zero block spaces left in here for a light. I bet beans are banned from the cantina on that ship. <laughs> hey, NT! How you doing, buddy? Hopefully that light will bleed through to the other rooms as well. But do a little cheeky. Break into this person's toilet. It'll be fine. <laughs> Next room. This one. So these blocks are all locked off. Yep. <clears throat> so I think we have probably have to do the same thing again. We put the bed, the wall. We have the wardrobe there. The divider there. And then we have the shower and the toilet just there. That'll do. Pretty much how all the rooms are. Thank you very much for the bits. You sir are too kind. Why am I? Why are my sound effects not working? What is going on? I mean, they're not muted. They're active. Why am I getting no noises? When people do things, I need to be informed. Dream Labs. I need to be told that this is happening. I need my alert box going wild. I'm assuming guys you're even seeing the alerts come up. Alerts are working. That's nice. I mean, it's relevant. <laughs> relevant. <laughs> alert box. Active. Oh, yeah. No, I remember now. Becking disabled them all, didn't they? They disabled them all because of the charity stream. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Good Nelsoning. Big fan. <laughs> you guys have too much fun with that. <laughs> I'm joking. Do what you want. <laughs> Fantastic stuff. There we go. Oops. What happens when you take on somebody else's build? What's going on here?
ceiling through it, it was just grey. It's that dark grey. Railway lines. So weird, you know, it's inconsistent throughout. One's this way, one's that way. Ah. Uh, right. It's the next room. It is a, a hodgepodge. Also, you've got to be really careful on this ship because no one would have washed their hands. There's no basin. <laughs> There's no basin anyway. Wait, hang on. Uh, yes. So where was I? Okay, yeah. I am off that. I am Balls McGinty. Thank you very much for 500 bits. Just your bones. Spanj. I was done with this game. Done, I tell you. And here you and Gerald drag me back in again, I go willingly. From whence you came, damn it all. <laughs> uh, I love the melodrama, it's wonderful. Uh, Red Eyed Sniper, thank you for being a member for 34 months. Thank you very much. So, Happy New Year. Thank you for all your hard work, Red Eyed Sniper. Thank you very much for all your amazing support. Uh, it's awesome, dude. Um, Ace Manager, have you guys had issues with the AI randomly stopping. Do you know when the issue started? Where the AI might freeze and not react? Um, not a common issue, I gotta admit. But it sounds like someone is doing AI off in the command console. Uh, you know, or switching modes to creative mode because that would do that as well. Um, yeah. The AI just stopping on his own and not reacting. Uh, not entirely. Like, I have one soldier, you know, just randomly going, hey, I'm going to just not do anything now. And it's like, okay, prepare to die. Um, but all of them? No, that's, that's someone's turned AI off. Turn the AI off. So you do that, it's easy to just AI off in the console. I'll turn them off. Or if somebody's done CM. You see, I mean, it changes the mode of the game to creative, which will also turn the AI off. Which is Laney's room. Don't suppose you fancy doing some more co op build streams? It was fun watching when you did them for the far POIs. Not for POIs, but for player stuff, I mean, yeah. Um, but I was talking to Reviot about um, doing a POI with him. It just needs to actually manifest a plan. But yes. Thought has been given and will be assigned appropriately. What scenario were you playing when you were making solar cells? That's Reforged Eden. That is Reforged Eden. <clears throat> oh no, solar cells. Wait. Uh, wait. No, I'm, I'm thinking wrong here. Solar cells, you mean the consumable fuel source you get from solar panels? That's Star Salvage. Solar cells in Reforged Eden are a commodity that you can trade. I don't think they're called solar cells, though. That's Star Salvage, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I might just make this this floor like um <coughs> I might make this floor crew quarters, like these like cramped poorly equipped quarters, and then do the floor down below. Um 
more like uh, sweets. I got an idea. Just, just freaking suddenly. Suddenly, I have an idea. It might not work though. Suddenly, I have an idea. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> yeah, this is going to be a nice big room, this is. This is a chonky room. Chonky room. Guy can have a, a bathroom counter. Double aspect wardrobes. And that's it, because he's now already out of block space. <laughs> Down, decent sized room. Did I forget to texture this room? I guess so. Whoops. I'm going to try and copy and paste these two into the next section. So, um, the only problem with copy and paste is <clears throat> it doesn't symmetry, but if I can get it, I can quickly go on the other side and repeat it. And I think it'll still be quicker than finishing this entire corridor off manually. So, you have to turn symmetry mode off, then select selection. And then basically select one corner, and then select the other corner by having N and N open, N to open that, click to select the box, close N. Move the camera, click to select the other box. It creates the selection box, as you can see. Yeah, it's difficult to explain. Um, then we copy, paste once, drag the green box to where you want to paste it to. For example, there is good. It brings us up to about there. Okay. It's, it's odd, isn't it? This, um... Oh, yeah, no, that's my fault. I didn't... I didn't realise it was three rooms there instead of two. Let's drag the box back a second. Let's, um... Drag the selection box slightly bigger. There we go. 
That's three rooms. Three rooms selected. Now we copy. Paste once. Drag it. It lines up with that and it lines up with that. Okay, good. That should work, yeah? We need paste. Lovely. And it ain't gonna line up with this though, is it? Because this is <clears throat> this is different again. So um maybe we can get two rooms. Make the selection box that copy. Paste once. Okay, so that goes. So you're gonna have to have a, a one big room here or a weird dog leg kind of corridor. To be honest, I think the one big room will probably do. Remove that selection. That saved a little bit of time, I suppose. Hey, Biggles. I tried to salvage the escape rocket as best as I can do to make an SV skid with the front dock pad to connect to it. Yep. Well, if it works, it works. There you go. It's a horrendous thing to salvage that escape rocket, but it is worth it. You could have the curtain moved, yeah. Watch out for the Spanish can't words bit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, all on a server, there. is there any way to stop a ship from sinking in Imperion Reforged Not that I've found. It either sinks or it doesn't. Sometimes it sinks, sometimes it doesn't for me. And it's completely inconsistent. Completely inconsistent. Right. Um, that's. Ah, damn it. I just realized the time. Ah, oh, I was hoping we'd get this almost nearly done, but there's still a whole lower deck. Three quarters to do. There's the front bridge section to do. All right, well, I'm gonna have to. <laughs> I'm gonna have to come up with something to do in, uh, in Imperion for this week's episodes. Find some people to go do my with. There you go. <laughs> find some BOIs to go and smash. He'll be fine. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, I'm going to have to go now. It is that time of day. Family duties call. But thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed a return to chilling in the building. We've actually made some pretty good progress today. The whole con tower being done is a big deal, actually. So that's good. But yeah, I appreciate all you guys' help, feedback. Appreciate all your support, donations, subs, resubs, memberships, lurking, chatting, being here. It's amazing. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you all. Um, I'll be back tonight, a bit later tonight with the Chaos Crew for some return to Moria. So hopefully I'll see you guys then. Um, until then, take care of yourselves. Be well and thank you again. Um, I might be back with more Children Building on Wednesday. I'll see how I go on. But there's also Stranded. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you again. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.